Welcome back to Media Champions. I'm your host, Mary Therese Griffin, coming to you from Atlanta. Today, we're excited to take you all the way up to New York. We're going to talk to Director John Gallagher at BMCC, that is the uh, Borough of Manhattan Community College, to talk subject matter expertise when it comes to the trends and changes in media. John, thank you so much for being with us today. My pleasure. Let's Um, talk about those trends. Well, I mean, for the past 30 years or so, we've seen more and more things become digital. And one of the laggards has been broadcast television. While we adopted a new standard that made television digital, it really kept it pretty much a passive broadcast experience one way. And we're about to enter a period that's going to get really exciting because it's going to be a a standard called ATSC 3.0 or next-gen television is how it'll probably show up on the box that your television receiver comes in. That's really going to have some dramatic changes and potentially big changes for the advertising market. So when you, when you talk about those advertising changes, John, do you think it's going to be easier for people to uh, not only advertise, but for consumers to consume the products that they want? Well, if you look at like, like the direction, like, we've gone on the internet with companies like Google, where it's been based on data and very granular data about individual users. Television traditionally couldn't do that because it was a one-way broadcast to everybody. With next-gen TV, we'll be able to actually target individual receivers, including cell phones and tablets. So people, instead of having to watch TV on their television or on their monitor at home can watch it in the field. And it will be able to feed back to the broadcaster who they are, where they are. Uh, The big application that led to that being developed was for things like tornado warnings. Like if you know where the receiver is and you have tornadoes coming your way, you can warn people specifically in the path of the tornado. Well, for advertising, that also means you know where they are, you know what they're, you probably have a good idea about their demographics. You uh, can throw in a feedback loop. So if you're doing something like, let's say, an advertisement for your local grocery store, you can actually send coupons to them directly through the monitor. And uh, it, it also means you can target people in a way where traditionally the, the old way of doing it just was, you know, you picked a small sample and you hope for the best. Now you actually know who you're, who's watching your programs. Sounds to me, John, like people can actually just never see an ad that doesn't apply to them ever again. Yeah, there's a downside to that, too. I mean, I think one of the one of the I mean, um, if you put on your creative hat, I mean, one of the uh, things that we always looked forward to every year with these commercials made for a broad market like the Super Bowl, where you had real creativity going into it and real artistry. And that's not something you actually get with a Google advertising experience. So this is, there's a potential downside to this too, but it also means you could, you, you know, if you, you know, we're in the age now where people make videos that are for a very targeted audience. You could actually see people making very interesting advertising on the local level. It could have a big impact on local broadcast markets because it, you know, it, it incentivizes doing them on a, doing them within the community as opposed to sending it out to a big, you know a big regional hub for production. John, I know you've been in this business an awfully long time and you've seen the changes in technology and how uh, getting the word out has changed over the years. What one tip would you give to somebody uh, in the world of marketing uh, and advertising when it comes to what's available today? Because it's not your mom and pop's uh, marketing and advertising anymore. Well, I would say that it's probably a very good idea. I mean, my primary field is education. And Mm -hmm. one thing we do see is there's a definite gap between what we're teaching in the classroom and what we're heading to in terms of where the industry is going. I would say if if you could find a way to just learn a little bit about data science, you know, take a a look at where, you know, I mean, you're going to have to upgrade your skills because it is going to be much more about targeted data. And since we're looking at a future where there's a lot more interactivity, that's going to need a different skill set. So I don't think in the higher education sector, we're really keeping up with that too much, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But um, if you have a kid in high school, 
and they can take a statistics class, it's really worthwhile. Statistics I mean, and all- analytics are key. Yeah, and I think that's something where um, if you're starting in the field, like most of the people I interact with, that's something where um, we should definitely push that in the curriculum. For, for people who are working currently, I think um, a little bit of awareness can help. I mean, there's a lot of good resources out there that are free. And to some extent, if you're working in advertising, you already do that. I mean, you've already been, you know, you already know what you're doing to some extent. It's just that right now, the idea that you can do much more targeted stuff is, uh, is going to be a challenge. Well, John, I, I would have loved to have been a student in one of your classes because you certainly have got uh, the, the, the entire universe of how to make this happen from soup to nuts. And I, I really appreciate you coming on the program. I hope you'll come back and talk to us again as we learn more about the trends and what you're teaching in uh, the world of media. Well, I'd love to, and I'd probably like to drag in some of my colleagues from the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, because this is pretty much all we think about. Well, let me think about that. Uh, Yeah, that's a big fat yes. (laughs) (laughs) Would love it. It was was a great experience. Thank you very much for having me on. You bet. Thanks, John Gallagher. If you want to know more about what John Gallagher and the uh, staff and the uh, faculty are doing and, and folks from the motion picture industry are doing, easy to do. Click on our website. It's dailyadbrief.com. And hopefully we'll be seeing some more from John Gallagher in the future on Media Champions. I'm Mary Therese. 